Hello there folks. This quick uh, video today is going to show you how to take uh, your tag names from a RS Logics 500 based application and import them into uh, Crimson 3.0 to uh, create uh, tags and the driver to talk directly to those tags. So for instance, I've got a very simple RS Logics 500 program open right here with a few rungs of logic here. Nothing too extravagant going on here, but uh, I've got some input stuff here, uh, some output you can't see over here, counter, uh, a greater than symbol here, and so forth. And in RS Logix 500, if I go to the Tools pull down menu and click on Database, I can do an ASCII export here, which will export the ASCII listing here. And so if you see here, uh, I can do uh, all these other symbols and so forth. But really, what I want is the tag names over here on CSV, the address and symbol one here. So if I just call this directory or call this thing Wazoo's, let's change the name to Wazoo2 here. I won't do the rest of these. Notice it's a CSV. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to put this on my desktop here. So I'll go here, go to Wazoo, I'll find my desktop. I'll just put them on the desktop and click OK. And that should have exported my tag names out of here, Wazoo 2, to my desktop here on my computer. So that's what I did in uh, RS Logix 500. Now back at Crimson 3.0, on Crimson 3.0 here, I can go to Communications on the left, and uh, this particular PLC uh, might talk to it over uh, Ethernet or DF1 or DH45. I'm going to pick the DF1 uh, RS232 port here, so uh, just told you what I would use, but... I'm going to hit the pick button right here, and I'm going to go down and select Alan Bradley for my driver. And since I'm using RS-232, I'm going to use the DF-1 master, so I'll click OK on that. Now, you want to make sure that all the settings in here match what is on your current PLC. However, over here on the left, uh, where it says PLC-1, I might call this uh, AB uh, PLC for giggles. And maybe I'm talking to a Micrologix, so I'll hit the pull down here and select Micrologix. Down here, folks, where it says create data tags, if I click on this thing right here, I can now navigate to my CSV file. So let's say I want to call this Wazoo's uh, PLC here, and I'll just have it take in the, uh, well, I don't know, heck, I'll click all this stuff. I don't know what's all in here, but I'll click all these. Define tag names, yep, that's correct. I'll click the OK button here. Now it's going to ask me to find it, so I'm going to go to my desktop. And on my desktop here, I should be able to find Wazoo's 2. That was that directory we're looking for right here. Or that was the file, Wazoo's 2. So I'll click on it, click open. And don't worry about this, say yes. All right, so what it did, or should have done, is over here in uh, data tags on the left, now I have a category called Wazoo's PLC. And if I expand here, I actually already have a bunch of tags created that are mapped, oddly enough, to the uh, all the tags that are in the RS Logix 500 program. So uh, many of you know this from other classes of mine. If you want to see if something's going to talk to your PLC, once you have a tag name like that, all you have to do is go to the right side, go to the data tags on the right side, and you can expand this. And what I always do, guys, is I always highlight one, and maybe I'll pick a few of these. You notice it took in all the other uh, S registers, but these are the ones I play with. You can grab all of them out here like this and drag this on the screen. And if I was connected live to the PLC, I should get a zero in here or some number. If I have communication problems, uh, my baud rate might be wrong or some settings, you'll have dashed lines. But you're looking for at least a zero or some kind of a constant. So anyway, that's just a quick example there of how you can use the create data tags on that particular driver to import the tag listings from RS Logix 500 into Crimson 3.0. Hey, thanks a lot. Have a great day, folks. See you later.